I'll check this out. Our favorite artist Rhapsody. She's on live right now. She on live. That allows us. She on live. Us you go, girl. See y'all in a minute. Tour. 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 She going on tour. She going on tour. I, I don't see them. She know you are. We want to know she going on tour. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Trio Tribe. What a do? Hey, you. Y'all make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and put the post notifications off for the next video. Alright, we are about to make some apple crisp today. Today. And I was already starting to prep here. So I'm just going to cut up, y'all. Look at Starfly gave me a little manicure. Look at that. My, my color. That's my color, y'all. And I had a spa session today on this Sunday. The girls helped me take out my hair from a twist. Y'all, it's getting long. We'll make sure it's out the way for this apple crisp. This is something that is pretty simple. Just a few ingredients. I'm also going to put it in my cast iron skillet. But let's go ahead and finish prepping. Yeah, that's fine. Keep it on there. All right, and... I don't think it matters what kind of apples you use. It's probably just really like a personal preference. So keep that in mind. I think I know I got a honey crisp in here and some other random apples that came from like maybe the free food box that I got. You know, so we gonna mix it together and then it's gonna be. This ain't my good knife. I'm gonna get my good knife y'all the difference see the difference in having a good knife Ooh, better watch out better watch out in the kitchen all right I cut them about there's really no preference you want them thicker a little thinner you know they cook a little faster when they're thinner This is that easy of a baking dish that you literally don't even have to get real specific when it comes to the baking measurements like that or even the apples. Like I said, you can have some thicker, you can have some thinner. It's really like a personal preference. And this is a little bigger. I'm going to go ahead and probably cut this up. So about half of that. Oh, you found some different spots is it? Starfly is over yeah. there finishing up her spa. Want to say anything to the Trio Tribe? Yeah, yo. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything to the Trio Tribe? She got her hair done. Tribe. Hey, Trio Tribe. All right. Hey. I'm about to go ahead and finish this up. Cousin. Finish cutting these apples. Hey. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Yeah. I've been wanting this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy extra, extra, extra. Fuck with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that I'm on it and next yeah. Fuck this up, i send you back to your ex But good luck with that, this is big as it gets Hey, okay. Let's see how you do under pressure yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure Give them a name to remember okay. Let me shoot a whole clip Firepower in this coalition We just turned the field into a demolition It was desolate, but I had premonition I was training for war every exhibition Every extra mission, every enemy listening Get off my dick, I got bad intentions Make it right every wrong And I'm back with a vengeance, I show you the ropes Peace in my town, I can show you the coast Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke 
If you know, then you know Suit it up, bitch, my whole team do the same Don't you forget who created the game Ready for war, I was born with grenades The trenches with soldiers are made Let's see how you do under pressure Let's see how you do under pressure Give them a name to remember Hey, Let's see how you do under pressure Let's see how you do under pressure A moment can live on forever I'm gonna get ready to get my cast iron skillet and see y'all on the next step. All right, back to it, y'all. I got some softened butter. I'm gonna melt a little bit of the butter, a little bit of the butter, and then I'm also going to be using cake mix. That's it, y'all. Cake mix and mixing them together. And then this is gonna be like the crumble on the top. I'm not putting anything below the apples or anything. This is just apple crisp with a little crumble on the top. And that is it. Hey, mommy. Hmm? Um, can I take a shower? All right, right here. Got this about to go in here. I just melted it just a little bit. Cause it wasn't quite softened all the way. Do it like that. Can. And I'm gonna go ahead and all right, and there we go. We're about to mix that up in there like that and like that. I might actually put a little bit more butter. We're gonna see. Um, I think I use one. It's been a while since I've done this, but you always want to start with just less because you know you can always add more later. Can I stir it? Alright. I, I think I may add another oh stick of butter. I think it does call for two. Let me show y'all what it looks like with just one. We want to give it a little bit of a crumble effect right here. Oh, thank you. I want to give it a little heaven in the building. Thank you. We want to give it a okay. little crumble look. So I think we're going to add a little more because this is what the cake mix look like. But I want to make it look crumbly like that. Here, you can mix it a little bit. It's about 15 seconds. All right, Evan, you want to go ahead and get this part? All right, I got this part. I got, I got this morning. part, and then I'll let you mix a little bit. All right, this is about kind of how I want it to be. So I'll let you mix just a little bit, and then I'm going to take it from here. Because, um... All right, I'm going to go ahead, while she's mixing that, I'm going to go ahead and put these apples in my cast iron skillet. Just like that. Which, this is a, what size, 12 inch? A 12 inch, and about five apples fit this just right. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar on here. Is this how you usually make your apple crisp? A little bit of brown sugar, yep. Go on here, like that. Just sprinkle it on the top. Cinnamon. And that is that. No, I don't usually put cinnamon. And that looks like it's about stirred up here. Take cake batter kind of now a little bit. And then I got this kind of over here. So I'm going to go ahead. You want to help from the outside of the kitchen. All right. And then what I'm going to do. 
Yep, you can. Because then I'm going to start crumbling it on the top. And then I probably could have put maybe a stick and a half because it is a little sticky. You, you don't want it to be and a half? one stick and a half of a stick. One and a half stick. Oh, well, because you put Therefore, two. I mean, skin. it'll still be good, but you know, it is a little buttery. Crumpy. That's for sure. Because um, it won't be as sticky usually. So this is, we did this in a little bit and it's all good. It's because it's Lumpy. No, just the butter. I mean, like, yeah. Alright, and this is about to be the apple crisp. Mm-hmm. About to throw this in the oven. I mean, you're about I'm to have a I'm going to show y'all what it looked like later. But I have a lot of extra crisp. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. What it tastes like? Mm. Good. Tastes like cake batter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, comment down below, y'all. If y'all try this recipe, comment down below. Let me know, and I'm gonna show y'all when it gets out the oven. All right, y'all. It's ready to come out the oven now. No taste test this time. And I would also not put as much. Oh, let me zoom out here. I would not put as much of the cake mixture because as you see, it does kind of look like cake batter on the top and you want it to look more crumbly, but either way, it's going to taste the same. All right, y'all, let me know if you try it. Peace and love.